Step one. This is kind of like a Simon Says type thing. Step one, you're going to draw a triangle upside down in the middle of your paper. So an upside down triangle in the middle of your paper. Then from that, the bottom point of the triangle, you are going to do a shoo-dee around to the other corner. And then you're going to go back to that bottom again and go shoo-dee around to that corner. And then... You're going to do a little shwoop de underneath there. Cool. Now from each other, from the corners, you're going to go up and up about two inches or so. And this is the big wide nose of your tiger lion or cheetah or whatever. And then at the top, you're going to do a frown line with a smile line under it. Now let's do that on the other side. So do a frown line with a smile line under it. <clears throat> and then you can do two parentheses inside those and those become your eyeballs. Then every big cat, believe this or not, also has eyebrows that go across the top. Now we're gonna have to squeeze your head in here. Uh-oh, I should have maybe done that first. <laughs> I was gonna have you trace a circle and we can go like this. So I'm going to move mine just a little bit up and trace that around. And that's my big cat's head. And then I've got an ear here and another ear here. Mine is going to be a lion. So my lion is going to have a shaggy, shaggy mane comes out and around. Shmoopy, 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 shmoop. And I also want to put some little speckles for whiskers. I'm going to put an extra little line in there so I can put teeth in. Um, what else? Oh, I want to put that little line inside my ear so it looks nice and velvety. <clears throat> and then down here on the bottom of the paper, I'm going to put one, two, three, Claws. There's circles. There's little paw e paw. And I'll do that over here too. So one, two, three little toes, although maybe your lion has more toes, with little triangle toenails in them. <clears throat> and then there's his little feet. There's our basic lion. Um, let's see. Uh cool. So I'm gonna pause this. Uh oh. All right, so coloring, um, you can use crayons, you can use oil pastels, you can use markers, you can use whatever you got. I've got watercolors, I've got crayons. Um, my suggestion would be to go over your lines, go over your lion, ah ha ha ha, with crayon. Um, let's see, I'm gonna, co I'm gonna color those eyes green. Because I think he needs green eyes. And nose, I'm gonna make big pink nose. Actually, I'm gonna color that in a little bit. I just broke my crayon. That's what I do. I press too hard and I break my crayons. I want some orange for my lion. Um, so here's his little cheeky poos. Actually, I'm gonna go like this too, so I've got a little bit more fuzzies. Because um, I like the mane and I want my mane to be maney. Ha <laughs> ha, mane colors. Let's see, let's outline my ears. And the head shape. What color should my toes be? Maybe my toes are yellow with little blue claws. Ooh, and then I can put some yellow into my mane too. I like that idea. Ziggy, ziggy, ziggy. Little yellow toes. I'll use brown for this part. And then do little sharp blue toenails. And then I'm gonna put these dots on here. Ooh, do I wanna draw whiskers? I don't know if I wanna draw them. I think I can just do the dots. I think I want my pupil. That looks better. 
feel like I want something on his nose, but I don't know what. I'm just going to paint. Let's see. I'm going to use one of my acrylic brushes because it's right here. Oh, dear. It's really dirty. Hmm. I don't know what this is going to do, kids. There. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Really dirty. Probably should have used cleaner water. Yeah, because now it's looking gray. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Cleaned my water a little better. There's my nose. Let's see, let's put some water in here. There, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really dirty water. What I really love about this is being able to just put the, um, Watercolor right on top of crayon or oil pastel. I really like it. And you can also do some cool blending things. Like, you know, if I'm just putting the orange right here in the middle. If you have some water you want to put on, then you could put more orange in and let it blend and put a little bit of yellow in. Watercolor is really fun that way. It's kind of nice and messy too, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. You gonna come over and paint yours, Maxie? And then if you have room in your background, because I don't know, maybe you maybe you left room in your background. You weren't quite as cloggy as me. Maybe your nose didn't turn out quite as big as mine. Maybe you want to put a little jungle in there. Something jungly out there. Or where is it that a cheetah lives, Maxie? Or maybe savannah like. So there's my lion. There. So take a good picture of him because I would love to put them up on Artsonia. But if you take a really nice photo and post it, um, pull it up somewhere, whether it's Google Classroom or Seesaw, then I can put it up for you. Yeah.